All right, so here is a recording I want to something. Well, technically, this is the second recording I'm doing this individual. First one, I'm pretty much saying that release because so many things have been updated, so it wouldn't make any sense. Because it talks about in battle, in battle, MP George Wright, and or so as a politics was him called George Wrong. And yeah, from those who know about this guy's notoriety, this is a guy that. Um, that got into a, a physical fist fight with this female associate, um, a bizarre named Tanisha Singh, uh, where he basically turned. It was basically turned to the Jamaican version of Ike and Tina Turner. For those who watched the videos and uh, and are uh, uh, understandably repulsed and sickened by it, yeah, you can pretty much understand. We already know what what the deal is with George Wright and this woman. Because what had happened that she, after the beating she had gotten, I can guarantee you this is not the first time that this has happened. Because these two seem to have known know each other personally. And I can guarantee you this is the first time on the first ride on the rodeo, so to speak. So, Because I can guarantee this is the first beating that we've known about. Believe me, like in a lot of cases with abusers, this is not, there's never just one occasion. All right. Um, so, like I said, I do. The beating that we know about, yeah. End result is right was put on investigation. He was turns it to police, and not surprisingly, nothing came up because the woman declined to press charges. The fact that she didn't turn up um, to, the, to turn up to, um, to give testimony, so to speak, because and you can bet that she was either threatened or bought off to not um, to not go forward. In a lot of cases with abuse victims, either that they're intimidated or they just or the fact that they've been beaten so badly that they've developed Stockholm syndrome that they see it as oh it it is it's not it's not known to the ordinary. So I'm doesn't I'm not gonna go any further with it. So either way as I expected nothing's to come of it. But what's even more no, I won't say surprising but it's more telling is that George Wright's own party in the government has basically done the Three Monkeys Act, as I predicted, where they've just been hear no evil, see no evil, speak, see no evil, because Prime Minister Holness has not really directly addressed this. Um, he's just given this PR statement saying we don't condone violence against women, which has been going on for the longest in Jamaica. This is not a new phenomenon. and. What's even more telling is that you're not heard the female, a lot of the female MPs because the GLP has a lot of female MPs at this moment, especially Babs Grange, who's talking about gender equality and women's rights because she's been very, adv uh, very vocal about women's rights and all of that um, for the longest. And you're surprised you're not hearing her say anything about this. And this is a gag order, but it just goes, I can tell it's just going to be more than that. And... The point is recorded, and this is going to go to the Jamaica's a culture of non-accountability. Because this is not going to be just about George Wright himself. Because George Wright is not the he's just basically he's not a unique case. Because there are a lot of men and uh, uh, men in um, throughout Jamaica who basically have this very violent approach when these two women. And before anyone says that, okay, says that we're gonna let the women who are violent off. Okay, no. We're letting them off the hook as well, but the thing that goes beyond this domestic violence, though, is just goes about this culture of non-accountability and why people like George Wright are surprisingly not going to face any consequences. And the sadly, thing is that they're not meant to face any consequences. Because I've said this before that Jamaica's biggest problem in Jamaica when it comes to the crime and lack of more um, immorality is the fact that there's no accountability when you do egregious acts because uh, what I've said before is that politicians in particular, and not just politicians to be fair, there is a there is an unwritten rule that says that politicians in particular do not get punished no matter what. Yeah, you can say rule read got, um, got, got, um, got ejected from the party and as is basically rule read was a sacrificial lamb for the GLP. Like there, and the thing is even though he's been dragged through the mud and his court links to go through trial. There's not a like. There's a fifty-fifty guarantee that his rule read is going to be convicted. Cause all that. Cause basically, what we're like like would rule read is that even if he does, they do secure a conviction. Hold on. Give me one second. 
is a rule read will probably just be able to most likely pay a fine and then or get this joke of a sentence which will which which he'll get get early release or chances are if he doesn't even get convicted that rule read is going to just go he does again just be um, same thing happened with Bruce him with Bruce Golden I have to do this thing that yeah the political careers are going to be tarnished but yeah, uh, still at this level have a roof over their head food on the tables money in their pocket because they'll just be go up that they'll just be whisked away somewhere quiet where they can get a nice job at some company or whatever and just live and just live good for the rest of the days because again with Bruce Golden at uh, Bruce Golden He's still, he's still go, going about his business. I mean, only thing a consequence that happened to him is that he's just he has some um, health conditions. But legally or whatever, he's he's still not he's not been made to pay any consequences for the whole do this debacle, and he's not meant to do it. And there's the same thing with George Wright. Is that George Wright? He understands the system. This is why he was so brazen with what that attack. And if he didn't know he was being filmed, he know that there's going to be a chance that a I could either bat up this woman or buy her off. She's not going to go forward. And if she does go forward, I'll just pay some of these people in the police department who are, um, who are likely to undertake. They're just going to just, a, just diminish the possibility of me, anything happening to me. And I also know that my own party members aren't going to throw me under the bus. Because you see, in Jamaica culture, especially with certain NPs, is that party colors matter more than accountability. They understand that this immunity from law, which is very tantamount towards being a politician in Jamaica, that has to be secured. All right, yeah, sure, is people like, like Babsy Grange and other females in the in the parliament very not happy what rule um, about what George Wright did? Yeah, I'm sure all of them are under the birth or not can't co-sign what he did because all of them basically realize after I've realized that hey, this um this this, this could have been me. Or so on. This guy has a, at any point, or or better, they could have said, okay, this is um if he's going to do this one woman, how many other women is he going to do that too? All right, but they but all of them have decided that okay, that or again that or party affiliation that matters more than us making a vocal stand about it, more than us pushing for the, some kind of accountability to happen to George, right? Because they know the side of bread is buttered. They understand that their party colors. And um, whatever per goodies, giveaways, and guarantees they get from being in parliament, they understand that's much more important than uh, than showing any concern or any empathy for this woman who who was beat, who this guy attacked. And they just basically figured themselves, okay, um, yeah, I mean, I like what George Wright did. I'm sure he certainly could not do that to me, of course. But and then and then I'll, I'll just bite my lip though because yeah, I understand that hey. I like this. I like this position that I'm getting in this nice, in this nice political seat that I have. I'm not going to do or say anything that's going to rock the apple card. So yeah, we're just going to bite your tongue on this and just not say anything. Yeah, even though that just makes us look very bad. Yeah, they said, um, you know what? Yeah, our feelings will be hurt, but at the end of the day, is we'll have a roof over our head, food in our food on our tables, food on our table our plates, money in our pockets. We'll live, get to this nice lavish lifestyle that we're accustomed to live in all of us will get to have this nice house in these in these uptown suburbs and or drive these nice fancy cars whatever it all means so yeah it's not, i mean whatever we feel we'll turn a blind eye because like i said that's just that's just, as far as these females in, in part of concern like babs green just one that's this woman's problem that's not your problem so we're just going to bite the bullet in this one and just keep it moving so, yeah so yeah, so to those who think that okay, why why these these females in parliament have not spoken out against George Wright and Spencer this woman? There's your answer, all right? And uh, don't expect that they're going to break bad on their own party just because because of what happened, all right? Cuz I'm pretty sure all of them have known what George Wright was like. This is not his first time. It's not going to be his last time and so on. And even if this woman in particular some unfortunate ends up happening to her again they're just going to say um yeah we're just going to do the three monkeys act so nothing to see here folks but this is just jamaica's this is just a testament to jamaica's form of this culture of non-accountability and many of them understand that if you 
if something if they were to do the opposite if they were to st actually go out against george wright because yeah, there are people saying oh that we can't legally remove george Wright." no because many of these mps in parliaments in, in both parties have written these laws that said that politicians cannot be held accountable and that's bad design because they understand if we start enforcing the law against one politician who who gets involved in some misconduct eventually you're going to have to eventually you're going to have to start enforcing the law against all these mps that are engaging in questionable behavior and yeah they'd rather say no we don't want to start that snowball effect though we don't want this to lead to where all of us in the long run are going to be our feet are going to get held to the fire so yeah we're just going to have to keep this we're just going to have to keep this this immunity from law policy unwritten policy intact and that's that's what George Wright is meant to symbolize. George Wright symbolizes not just being an abusive man. He also symbolizes what the culture of Jamaican whole is in the political field. And even generally, because our culture is that in order to keep this culture of criminality and all types of moral sins and, and decadence in place, they understand that you cannot punish anyone, no matter how heinous their crime is. I mean, as long as it don't affect them personally, I mean, if you touch their people in their circle, yeah, then they're going, all oh, that's going to change, of course. But, but in general, in a general sense, is that we, um, in order for Jamaica to have that culture of criminality and whatever, the same, it remain the same as it is. We can't start punishing people, though. I mean, even though if it's, even though it's slowly going to start biting us in the long run, many of them are deciding, you know what, rather than doing the right thing, let the whole country burn. Let the whole let criminality and all types of sins and virtue and immoral virtues so eat us alive. Cause I uh, and so on. Cause as cause their their concern is that hey, as long as that doesn't affect us on an individual level, that's everybody else's problem, not our problem. If Jamaica literally starts burn to the ground like Rome did, May certain some of these peoples in, in parliament or and their well wishes are going to start in the same long run and say, eh, Jamaica was a nice place when it was there when it was around, being like we uh, even right and that would be and that would likely see what happened before any of them admit we should have done something we should have cut this at the off at the root before it grew into this of uh, this poisonous weed that is killing up killing up the whole garden. But that is part of Jamaica's culture, and that's what George Wright represents. George Wright is a good example of Jamaica's culture of non-accountability, and it's, and so on. And it and he's not the only one. He's not, and he's not the first one. He's not going to be the last one. But what I understand, uh, however, is that there's some people in constituents who are banging the drum that this guy needs to resign, and that is and and I do hope that they're successful in that in that run. In that endeavor, because that guy knew needs to get out of up. That guy needs to leave office. All right, this guy needs to show that there is some repercussions, rather than, apart from hurt feelings, because all that he's really that's the only thing I sent him that his feelings have been hurt, and he's been dragged through the mud and the, the social media. But at the end of the day, he needs to suffer more than just emo an emotional downside. He needs to learn that hey. If you engage in this behavior, that hey, we're going to cost you a livelihood, that you're not going to eat a food nowhere, whether or not they boot you from parliament or not. Because all I think this happened to him is that they just basically just gave him a leave of absence, from what I understand, which is basically mean that he's on paid leave right now. That means that he'll be able to, once this blows, what they're hoping for will happen is that this will blow over, this is going to die down. And then even if he they they even if he resigns or they they go, they pull him out the sense and say, look just just resign and so on because you're hurting our brand. Um, he's just again he's just he's not really going to be suffering any consequences because he'll just he'll be fine after this though. And that's meant to be because they understand that hey, our party affiliations is more important than justice and equality. So whatever. But the thing is, as I said, there needs some example made. But again, he's just an example of Jamaica that that long-standing culture of non-accountability whatsoever, and that and so on. And and again, this is not about George Wright himself per se. There are plenty of George Wrights in Jamaica. There are all those men who are murdering, killing the, their female partners. They're, they're they're no different than George Wright. Maybe he hasn't taken as far as some of these men have. 
at least not yet or as far as we don't know but he's just basically he's not an exception he's basically the norm the standard for a certain type of person in Jamaica that they're not held up that whose feet are not held to the fire for their for their bad behavior and if, and this is the purpose of a recording to understand that Jamaica's the biggest problem we have in our country internally is that we have this culture where non-accountability is the rule of the day and to all the Jamaicans who have a moral backbone do whatever and believe me you're going to get pushed back from a lot of their supporters and enablers who like this culture of non-accountability just fine this is what you're up against and once you understand what you're up against you will understand that then you'll understand what solutions need to be implemented and you're going to implement these solutions all right because as I said, the government did not want to do anything about this man. They knew what this guy did. They were giving him cover. But due to the fact that there's public pressure, they're, had, they're doing some half-assed measures to look like they're doing something. But they're not really, none of them are really going to do, make any moves to really reprimand this man. And they don't want to because they understand, hey, if, they, if he gets reprimanded the way he should, all of them are then going to be reprimanded down the road. And all of them have said, hey, that, we like our immunity from law. Uh, immunity from law just fine don't this is part of Jamaican culture as we're concerned if you start taking away from, taking that away from us that whole system and that, so that culture is going to change and may them would rather may them would rather Jamaica burn to the ground before they before that type that part of that subculture in Jamaica is changes for the better but that's all I have to really say about this matter though is that this is what we have what we're up against people this is what jamaica this is the face of jamaica though this is uh, uh, this is the what this is the the long pervading problem of jamaica why we're still in this moral quagmire that we're in because of this this or in a or refusal to hold people the people across the board accountable for their bad behavior and until enough jamaicans i didn't say all because many of us have said that hey we know we're going to die on this hill until men uh, just uh, enough of us start realizing this and start doing something about it again expect there to be more cases with like this expect there that they're going to be more george rights because what you're doing by not punishing this man like the many us before him you're encouraging more george rights to feel like they can do whatever they want because they know that hey we're not going to really suffer any consequences for it all right and the thing is why i said with Kenise jackson is that Kenise jackson should have been been the way the, the ultimate wake up call where Jamaica starts saying we really need to start pushing back against this culture of abuse of women and and men as well because we're not going to leave out the brothers too and I'm going to talk about the men who are abused as well too because I'm not leaving them out as well but this but this but in our but Kenise Jackson has said should have been the starting point of a new day in Jamaica that in the long run a lot of this bullshit was going to get shut down but as I predicted we didn't really seize that opportunity and 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 it's not because we couldn't because we didn't want to but after but you think that after the most fake concern about Kenise Jackson that this should have been the starting point of a brand new date for Jamaica people like George Wright would have instantly been uh, would have instantly gotten the, the book thrown at them in his day in, in court but that's not the case and sadly and not surprisingly I didn't expect it to be but that's what my thoughts are on this though because we have to start owning up to this culture of non-accountability that's 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 continued to tear um tear jamaica apart and too many people are just okay with that and for the people who have sense and have a more backbone that is not okay